Good evening and welcome to the Church by the Seas Meditation. I'm Reverend Barbe Singer and I'm delighted you've joined us tonight. Tonight I want to focus on the prayer by St. Francis of Assisi. I thought tonight we could look at the process of Lexio Divina. Lexio Divina is an ancient process of meditating on words of scripture, or in this case, I'm going to invite us to consider meditating on the words of a prayer. In doing so, it allows us to more deeply concentrate on the meaning and the way in which a prayer or a piece of scripture speaks to us. What is God trying to say to us in the moment? Meditation allows us to quiet the mind, the body, and open ourselves up God's guidance, God's peace, God's encouragement. And so tonight, I pray that you receive the gift that is meditation. Let us begin with some deep cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Focusing on the body, relaxing the neck, the shoulders, the mouth, the jaw, relaxing the body. Allowing yourself to focus on my voice, on the prayer, or just on the quiet, the quiet of your breath, the life force, our connection to God. And as you breathe and relax, Let us pray. Holy One, as close to us as the breath, be with us this night. Help us to let go of all the sounds of the day, all the conflicting voices that try to draw our attention. And let our attention rest in you. Holy One, we give to you all of our concerns. All the thoughts that come into our mind. And ask that you care for them. And comfort us. As we seek to hear you, to know you, and to be close to you. In the very breath that you give us, let us rest in the knowledge that you are close, as close as that breath. In this we pray. Amen. Let us now just listen to this piece of music, continuing to relax the body, focusing on the breath, and allowing ourselves this opportunity.
will thank you. Well, I'm going to read the prayer of Francis. There are several versions that you might find. But as I read it, I'm going to invite you to consider his words. To allow yourself to hear perhaps a word or phrase that stands out for you. And you're invited to stop the tape, to breathe for a little bit, to consider, and begin again when you're ready. Lexio Divina asks us to go slowly, to repeat things, to consider. and to commune with the prayer. Well, Francis was an interesting person. He was educated. He grew up in comfort. And perhaps he struggled. He struggled with peace himself. And as he saw it, greater peace, greater closeness to God. He spent time in nature. He communed with animals and birds. And believed that all living creatures, all creatures and all things created by God are to be revered appreciated and to be seen as a creation of God. And so as you meditate tonight, consider nature. Take some breaths and envision in your mind some element of nature that brings you a sense of peace. Perhaps it is the sunrise, or it's the waves crashing on the beach, or looking across the horizon. Perhaps it's birds in the trees. or its leaves falling, a rainbow, a rainstorm. Whatever it is that speaks to you, allow your mind's eye to envision this, to commune with it, to feel close to it. And breathe. Francis begins, Lord, make me a channel of thy peace. A channel, a vessel, which peace flows in and flows out. Lord, make me a channel of thy peace. That where there is hatred, I may bring love. As I breathe, I breathe in peace and love, and I exhale love and peace. Focus on the areas of your life that are stressful. Consider 
the people and situations. that may be hard to love in your life right now. Envision being a channel of love. Letting God's love flow in you and out. No longer allowing that situation or that person to disturb your peace. Where there is hatred, I may bring love. Where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness. Consider those who have hurt you or harmed you. Consider those that you don't even know that disturb your peace. Those you've seen on the news or think you have some sense of. And envision Christ's love and light all around them as it is around you. Ask God to allow you to forgive them as God forgives you. And for whatever you're struggling with with yourself, envision that same forgiveness. That where there is discord, I may bring harmony. Breathe in and relax. Breathe out and feel yourself a channel of peace and light, forgiveness and harmony. That where there is doubt, I may bring faith. Consider the things that you might feel doubtful about, or those around you who may have doubts. And envision your faith growing, your trust in God filling you. Where there is despair, I may bring hope. Breathe in and feel the spirit of hope fill you. Trusting that God wants you to be happy, fulfilled. God wants you to feel loved, gifted, precious and blessed. God wants you to know how amazing you are and that God has created you for a purpose or many. Breathe and relax and feel your heart opening up, your mind opening up becoming that channel of peace. Where there are shadows, I may bring light. Envision the light of Christ coming into your body, your mind, your spirit, filling you. Every corner of your being 
and then breathing out that light. That where there is sadness, I may bring joy. God wants us to be joyful. If you are struggling or feel sadness, ask God to aid you with that. To allow you moments of joy. Because in the joy, we feel closeness to our Creator. Lord, grant that I may seek rather to comfort than be comforted. Francis now asks us to focus on others. Envision who needs your comfort right now. Who needs the comfort of God, the light of Christ? the spirit of joy and forgiveness. Picture them in your mind. And envision all those feelings of goodness and joy and light and love surrounding them, comforting them. Grant that I may seek to understand them to be understood to love than to be loved. Consider those who do not feel loved in your world and in the greater world. Those who are struggling with hope, who live in conflict, who live in poverty, who live in despair, Send them love, send them light, send them hope. For it is by self-forgetting that we find. What is it that God is calling you to do? To help another today, each day, Someone may come into our lives that we can offer our faith and our love and our hope. The person in the grocery line, the telemarketer that calls us, the male person that delivers our mail, the neighbor. Whoever comes into our lives and our space, whoever came in this day, Think of them, pray for them, envision loving them, caring for them, sharing your faith with them. For it is by self forgetting that one finds. It is by forgiving that one is forgiven. And in dying, one awakens to eternal life. So let us let go of all those things that interfere with finding God, with knowing forgiveness. With letting go of the shadows, the sadness, the discord. Breathing in God's beauty.
hope you enjoyed tonight's meditation. The prayer of St. Francis is easily found and it's a beautiful prayer for us to utilize and to focus on. It brings us back to that sense of serenity, peace, understanding. And so tonight I thought in the spirit of peace and serenity, we would close with the serenity prayer, the long version by Reinhold Niebuhr. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, Taking, as Jesus did, this world as it is, not as I would have it. Trusting that God will make all things right if I surrender to God's will. So that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with God forever and ever in the next. Amen. Have a beautiful and blessed evening. Good night.